Uh, all right, y'all. Um, it's part two. Underneath this uh, Mitsubishi Mighty Max, I got it sitting on four ramps. Very well. That's probably easier than uh, to put it up on jacks. And okay, so it looks like somebody's cut the cat out. Yeah, fire didn't cause that. <laughs> That's all. <awesome. laughs> The sawzall. All right. Um, I did notice maybe a fire specifically right here. Um, my only question is, is that going to a fuel tank? Or is that like just tail lights? That kind of looks like it's just little tail lights because the fuel tanks over here guys and um, well to me those fuel lines look good um, this kind of looks like you know it does look like something's up, messed up here and I will have to look into that, yes. But I just don't see that being being related to fuel. That's not impossible. Anyway, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look it doesn't look good at all. So We'll go ahead and uh, work on that. I mean, realistically, uh, that's been burnt and that has been caught on fire from the looks. I mean, you can judge maybe a little bit more than I can right there when you look at that. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm upside down. I apologize. I've been shaking. Um, but yeah. So. So obviously it exhausts and saws all. This will be a pretty easy fix. I'll just get a piece of pipe, go from there to there. Uh, problem solved. I'll just clamp it. I don't really care. I'm not gonna turn around and like weld that in. Um, we'll go over there, we'll look at that stuff. Okay, this could be the fuel pump. I know, I don't know a lot about these cars, guys. Sorry. That looks like a fuel pump. Any wires going to it? Or is that just a, maybe it's a fuel filter. That could be just a fuel filter. Yeah. That's a fuel filter. <laughs> um, I didn't really see anything bad there or anything crazy going on right in that thing. Uh, let's go over here. That wire looks good. Look greasy. Transmission looks pretty decent. Um, everything underneath here looks moderately okay. Body over frame vehicle and tube steel. Dude, look at that. That's a good truck. Not even a body. You could use that chassis for something good little chassis to put underneath like a smaller car, small American car. It was the right wheelbase. And honestly, if it's not, that's really easy to cut that wheelbase. You could have a rigid, more of a rigid vehicle. Um, as far as the fuel pump, fuel goes, see, I don't see any fuel lines going to the fuel pump, I mean fuel. So there's a fuel filter, yes, my brother said take the bed off, I don't know if I want to do that, but maybe in the future, you know, just check that out. It's not that hard. We are noticing some 
That's a, oh, it's just yuck. Sorry. Well, this is our, this is where I'm going to start, okay? It does look fried. It does look like there's something going on there. So that's where I'm going to start. Maybe it's nothing. But it's sitting up there. I just pulled it down off that clamp. It does look like something's burnt in there. Everything else doesn't look too bad. It's a pumpkin. Uh, rear end. Uh, pumpkin meaning it's got a removable carrier. A lot of car guys don't know what that means. Nice chassis. This is a solid version of a vehicle. Lease rings, coils under front, air, upper and lower control arm system. That looks a little weak, but it is what it is. It's a truck, so it should be solider than you think. Um, and a full frame. You could take that frame, drop a small block Chevy in this frame, and then turn right around and uh, uh, probably have to get a really good rear axle. You have loose rings. You could put this under, say, Ford Falcon. Or the same width and height as a Ford Falcon. It'd be cool. Or, well, you're tired, probably tired of looking at the bottom of his vehicle. Alright, catch you later.